everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a target spring try on haul i have some fun pieces shorts dresses pants let's get started so the first outfit is this green and white striped dress it comes in extra small to 4x it does come in black white and a blue striped as well it is 80% cotton and 20% recycled cotton. It's a collared neckline, as you can see, buttoned down, which I love. Just, you know, that whole elongated look when you have that collared look, just like a button down shirt. It does have single cuffs and at the bottom, I think I showed in the clip that it has side slits. The side slits are not high at all. And it does have functional pockets, which of course, who doesn't like the pockets in a dress, right? I'm not sure if you'll see them in this particular clip, but I'll show them later on. These mule shoes, I got them in a size six. Normally I'm a six and a half, seven, but when I was trying them on in store, they just were a little bit big, like six and a half which was even big. So I size down. So if you're interested in them, I think you should go down at least a half a size and let me just grab them because they're so pretty so here i just wanted to show them a little close up because look at that detail and the heel just the three inch heel not high at all they were really comfortable it does have a soft cushion insole and a square toe and then here you have look at the pearls i just thought those were so pretty so back to the keep or return, which am I keeping and which one am I returning? These have a little bit more of probably more cream. These are a little bit more taupe. Let me know which ones you like that are in. What am I keeping? The next outfit is a two piece separate, the button down top and the pull on shorts, which they do come in a variety of different colors. They're extra small through 4X. I think everything I'm showing is extra small through 4X, except for, you'll see in a bit, these, uh, I think it's the next outfit, are these pink pants, which are like zero through 27, not the extra small through 4X. So these pull-on shorts, they are high rise. They are, they do have a drawstring with front pockets, relaxed fit. It is a three and a half inseam, if that's helpful to you. I just like a linen set and it must be let me just see it's a lightweight linen fabric the top is tunic length relaxed fit collared neckline typical button down basically and then i have it on with a tank top underneath and you may be able to see that it crosses over it's actually one shoulder i'm going to see if i can't find it and i will link it because i did get that at target last year just a basic tank but it does, it's just one shoulder. So I just thought, let me just make it a little bit more casual. But just so you know, if you do want to go from day to night, it does look really nice with the pair of mules if you're on vacation. Yellow, you know, that butter yellow is also trending. So I just love the color and I'm going to have a hard time deciding if I'm keeping it. So you guys let me know. Next up, we have these pink pants comes in zero through 26. They come in black, a gray plaid, a light mint green, and the pink. So a couple of different options. It's a mid-weight fabric, and it does have a fly hook and zipper, it's high rise, and it does have front and back pockets to straight fit as well. So I do have a short waist, so a lot of times the, you know, those high-waisted pants i just struggle with them but these were pretty comfortable and i didn't feel as if there wasn't enough space between like my bust and my waist and then i paired it with this cardigan which also comes in extra small through 4x does come in cream comes in black and camel as well it's a recycled polyester lightweight does have a ribbed cuff and it is a regular fit with like mid-length um so it's not going to cover your bum completely but it does have a nice relaxed fit so you can dress it up dress it down just even maybe if you just want to 
wear it around your shoulders and have a little bit more of a you know preppy look if you would I'm just gonna tie this cardigan in with the lady jackets and I generally do not button them I just leave them open and I'll just have a tank or something or like a camisole underneath that's how I would wear them to work but they're not just for work wear I know I'm getting off topic with the cardigan but I just love a lady jacket and I love them with a pair of jeans and some work slacks. I'm going to decide whether I keep that or not, but I just wanted to show it all together. Clearly you can wear them separate. You can even throw on a blazer with the pants, a pair of shorts, denim, a lot of options for the bottoms with a cardigan and these pants. I'm not sure if I mentioned they do come in short length. These are regular length and you can see that they're pretty long on me. I would probably just have them hemmed rather than do the shorts but yeah so I was pleasantly surprised I need to take a better look honestly the way it falls in the back but as far as the comfort around my waist I wasn't too upset about that I you know it was pretty okay even sitting down that's my test right especially if they're high-waisted if I sit and they're uncomfortable not happening anybody else like that because that's the true test of whether they're comfortable. You can stand up and be okay, but the minute you sit down, that's the telltale sign. Actually, that's what I do if I'm bra shopping. Same thing. I need to sit down trying on a bra just to be sure that it's not going to cut into my stomach because that's a problem with being short-waisted. Next up is this white dress. It has the flutter short sleeves. It is an A-line. So, a-line for me isn't necessarily flattering. I think it takes a certain silhouette to actually be more flattering. And this one I thought was pretty nice. I did like the way it looked. I have to play around with it a little bit more, I think, to decide whether or not I'm going to keep it because I didn't wear a bra with it. Um, if you see, there's like the keyhole cutout and any bra that I was wearing with it, I could see, and I was just like, no, that's not gonna work. And then in the back, you'll see it has an open, a little bit of an open back. I think you can play around with it and make it a little bit more conservative where you just, like, there's just a peep of skin showing through. But I do really like it, and it's just great. I love a white dress during the spring, summertime, so. I don't know. We'll see what that looks like, um, whether I keep it, but it does have pockets. And like I said, I do like the way it looks. It's just the bra situation will be something I need to play with. However, I should have put on some pasties and I bet you that would have worked better because it's not exactly giving me any lift or anything going braless, to be honest with you. But I do like the way it fit for being an A-line silhouette I did think it looked pretty and flattering and the next is this pink plisse midi shift dress extra small through 4x it's a shift dress like I said and it does come in black brown and blue which the way it looks on the website is more like a periwinkle but really pretty it does have a back slit and of course it has the halter neckline which can be very flattering and i do like a halter neckline of course we're not quite tan there so i have a little bit of self tan on but i think it would look really pretty with like a really nice tan i just love the color obviously actually this is the material if that's if you were curious as to what the plisse is this is i think that's how you pronounce it but this is the dress but just in a shirt i'll have this linked as well i don't have a clip of this but i do really like the color i've always liked pink so this is more like a yeah it's a bright pink but I do really like the dress. I didn't try it on with shaper or anything, which I think I would probably lean towards. And then I do have a strapless bra on. I tried to just like throw it on, no bra, but I was like, oh goodness, no. I need something to lift them up. And so I just put on a strapless bra. It's hard for me because like we're still having like cold temperatures here and rainy weather all week that kind of thing so it's a little hard for me to like get into the spring fashion even though i want to dig my heels but i'm working my way in and hopefully the 
the nicer weather is coming our way and I'll be able to be full on with all the spring outfits. So that's all I have for today. Like I said, I'm just trying to get into the spring fever. Not quite there yet, but I do have a lot to show you in the coming weeks as far as spring fashion and just styling, how to's, all the things. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're looking forward to what's to come. Please leave comments down below, like, subscribe. I am trying to build up my community again after being gone for a few months. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, it really helps me out. If you haven't seen my last video, I did a little get ready with me and you can check that out in the card above. I will be sprinkling beauty back in but I know the next few videos most likely will be all fashion content. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.